Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how you can use um, the grid and the rulers and these other view options in here to help you structure your page if you're making a publishing style project such as maybe something like an inside page of a magazine. So I'm just going to show you some inside pages of a magazine. I did a quick Google search. Uh, oh, it's actually Microsoft Bing search there for a change. So I'm just going to scroll through and you can see um, these inside pages of magazines, they are very structured in how they are laid out, laid out. And we call these a grid pattern, okay? So on this particular one here, there are three columns and above it, there's a large area set for an image. On this one, again, we've got three columns evenly spaced with a, an area set for an image. Down here again, three columns evenly spaced and then there's interspersed in those columns is areas for an image and that title also takes a bit of a chunk out of that. I want you to pay close attention to that one because I'm going to try and recreate that now. So I'm going to go back to Photo P. Now the first thing you need to do to help you sort out your grid is to make sure that you go into view and you show, not show, sorry, view rulers. To get your rulers on, we're going to need those rulers in a second. Then go into view and make sure extras is selected. It's usually selected as default, but just make sure that it's got a tick on it because then when you go into show, you can select grid. These options will not be available to you if extras isn't ticked. So I'm going to click on grid and you can see that that looks quite crazy but if you look quite closely it is a very perfect grid of tiny squares that's going to help you um, set out the layout of your um, project so that it's perfectly spaced. Now remember when I went to view rulers and they appeared up here and here so there's the ruler there and there's the ruler there if I click in the ruler at the top if I click and drag it pulls down this sort of blue line and I'm going to use this blue line to help me structure my layout. So I'm going to pull it down and down the bottom there I'm going to go at one, two squares on that grid. I'm going to do the same again um, here, one, two squares on that grid. So now I know for sure that the space there and the space there are even. I'm then going to click on this side and I'm going to drag this uh, level in and I'm going to drag that over to two spaces away from the edge there. And then I'm going to drag this one over to two spaces from the edge there. And then if I go back to that picture again, remember I'm trying to make three columns. Oh, it's not that one. Three columns with two pictures. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to drag another one of these. And if I was being really, really picky, I would be able to count up the squares to evenly spread out these columns. OK, so I'm just going to drag it across. I'm going to just pull that across maybe to there with two spaces in between. Now, remember what I said, if I was being really picky, and you should you should be picky, guys, okay? You should be doing this perfectly. I would count up the squares and make sure that my columns are evenly spaced with the even number of squares in between. So I now have what looks like three even columns, but I won't know that for sure unless I count them up. Um, but I've not got time for that in this video. But you make sure you do that, okay? Right, then I'm going to drag another one down and I'm going to position that there because on my picture that I'm trying to copy this one, there is a space for an image. And I'm going to do another one like that there. So there's two evenly spaced squares there. Okay, go back to it. And I've got a space up here where the title is. So I'm going to go back to Photo P and it looks like, oh, I've nudged that one. And it looks like it is roughly around about there. Okay. Now, here's the thing. That grid in the background just looks too crazy to stay. Okay. It's going to distract you. It's going to make you stressed. So I'm going to go back into view. I don't need that grid anymore. I'm going to go to show and I'm going to untick grid. What I have left is a really useful um, layout for me to start putting some text in here using text boxes and pictures in here um, by inserting pictures. Um, but I know for sure where exactly they should be on my grid. Now, now that I've got rid of, rid of the grid, I can see just by, by visual looking that this column here is thinner than this column here and that's what happens when you don't count the squares okay so make sure you count those squares guys because you want to make sure that it's perfect we want perfect projects but you must make sure that when you're making a, a publishing project like this that you should be creating a grid have fun everyone